What is going on YouTube? Chris with Journals, Comics of Pop Culture, and I got an unboxing today. And for those that caught my last live stream, yes, I promise, it's comic books. So, what do we have here? We have a few things. I got my Marvel subscription. Open that with you. I'd like to do that with you guys to show you how bad the uh, USPS beat up my comic book. Something right here. Hmm? And then we got a big box from mycomicshop.com. What to do first? Well, let's save the uh, uh, the bulk of it all for last. I'm going to set these aside. We're going to quickly open up my mail subscription and uh, and see how we did. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Again, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. I say almost every video, thank you to each and every one of you for the continued support. I can't wait to announce my 3,000 subscriber giveaway which should be happening in a couple weeks. What did I get here? Ooh, yeah. All right, we got Amazing Spider-Man number 48, my mail subscription from Marvel. Again, the flimsy uh, little piece of whatever you call this stock paper type thing in the plastic bag doesn't do much to protect it, but this is decent. No, well, look at this. Corners are dang down there. And then uh, usually you get a lot of spine action going on, but it's pretty good. You got a couple of spine ticks in there, uh, like right there, but nothing crazy. Uh, overall, uh, it managed very well in the mail. And again, I get 45% off cover price. Uh, I, I don't miss an issue. And that's why I'm okay with them not showing up in near mint condition. I can always press them out too and, um, you know, bump them up a little bit still. All right, guys, let's go into this guy. What could this be? Let me get my knife here. Um, this is my first haul in... A while so uh, I did get that uh, awesome uh, act of kindness from a1 comics last week I did that unboxing with you guys Ooh, this isn't opening very well but uh, in terms of actually whoo, receiving comics it's been a little while guys I like to do try to do an unboxing like once a week, but it's tough, you know. All right, so this is really cool. Uh, this is for my son, who has been reading like crazy uh, Batman stuff right now. Let's get him in order. And oh man, look at this! This is uh, the mini series, the six issue mini series or limited series, Batman and the Mad Monk. Uh, these are the obviously the individual issues. Uh, look at this cover swipe of um, oh shoot, who did that? Who did that cover? Somebody, somebody in the comments is gonna remind me. I gosh, I can't believe I'm blanking on it right now. Um, but that's number one. Number two. It wasn't Neil Adams, was it? I forget. Here's number three. Number four, my son doesn't even know that these came, that I'm opening them. <laughs> and number five. And number six. So can't wait to show him those. Uh, I These are, I mean, they're not hard to find, but uh, they're not too cheap. Uh, the trade paperbacks are going for like 50 bucks. Because I was like, my son collects more trades. He just likes to read. He reads a lot of digital comics. He's not really into the collecting, like having to have all these issues. He just enjoys reading. So, uh, you know, he was trying to get the trade paperback. That didn't happen because, like I said, I wasn't spending like 50 plus bucks for like a used trade. It's crazy. Uh, but then I, I saw a couple sets on eBay um, and I missed a couple when I was bidding. Uh, but I got this one. I think these were. Uh, was that fourteen dollars? So you know, just a little over uh, two dollars each. I mean, that's pretty good because there was a lot of buy it nows that are like twenty five and up. So I was like, I'll wait. And they're not, you know. I think these were said very, very fine condition. You could tell they've been read. But my son is going to enjoy them regardless. All right, guys. Ah, this is going to be the fun, the fun one for me. I was just out working in the yard. It's 102 degrees. Look, it's October. Uh, I got blisters all over my hands. Uh, it's October, and it is still over 100 degrees here. Man. Can I tell you guys a secret? I was looking 
at homes in the Seattle area. I'm not saying anything. I'm just, just looking, but I don't really like too much rain either. I like sunshine, but I'll tell you what. Where I'm at right now in the valley, man, you know, uh, it's just, you know, it's not the Bay Area. And that's, you know, that's where I live all my life till eight years ago, moved up Sacramento area. And uh, it's just this heat. I haven't gotten used to the heat. You don't get the Bay, the, the Bay breeze coming in. And as much as I like sun, I, you know, I mean, it's, it's summer from, from April to October. It's crazy. It really is. Yes. Yes. All right. Look at this. The new Overstreet with Spawn and Spidey. I've been waiting for this. Yes. Man, I'm stoked about this one, guys. Stoked to dive into it and do some, uh, see what the prices are for some books in this guy. But regardless, um, wow, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Soft cover. Almost went with the hard cover, but I'm good with the soft cover. Nice. Super happy to have that guy. Let's put this down and uh, bring him up. Well, let's see. I just, I love how they put the, uh, the bumpers, the rubber bumpers. Checked by E. You even know who, uh, who handled your 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 books and, and and packaged them for you now that's awesome man i'm telling you my comic shop customer service is just on point i give them uh, uh, uh an 11 out of 10 especially <laughs> compared to others that i've just had not so great experience with i've talked about that i won't dive into that not much anymore what is oh what is this all right guys Let's go. Ooh, shoot, I just bumped it. Let's go with the key book first. But before actually before I show you the key book, I got a Rorschach poster. Sweet. That's cool. Nice. Alright, guys. This is a key that I've been looking at for a while. Um this is a key that I believe is one that's well, obviously it's been it's it's had steady long term uh, increases in terms of uh, fair market value and it's one that I think is going to continue to increase simply because of the character and where this character is headed MCU and that's Wolverine number one the ongoing series volume two so I always talk about. Um, you know, Wolverine has his his books, you know, obviously Hulk 181. Then Hulk 180 is probably your second best option. You know, uh, Giant Size X-Men, number one, is a, is a best option. But that's a team first appearance. It goes beyond Wolverine. Uh, you know, you can look at 182, uh, that cameo appearance after his first full. Uh, you know, it, it, it's it's got a decent value. Uh, but then from there, you go to limited series number one. And then you go to volume two, number one, and I finally got my hands on it for what I thought was uh, a decent value that I was willing to pay in the grade that I was willing to pay. And I was really looking for the new stand. Uh, what was this book? 87, 88, 88. And, you know, towards the late eighties, the new stand um, print run started getting smaller and smaller. So this is one of those where, you know, if you can find it in a high grade and a newsstand, I would take the newsstand over uh, direct any day. It is very nice condition and it has one um, kind of deep spine tick here. Let's actually pull it out of the bag and take a look at it. Let's see. This can definitely benefit from a press. Um, there's a little bit of waving. Uh, on top, I don't know if you guys can see that right. See that? So maybe it was just in a um, in a high humidity uh, storage facility, and that kind of happened there. And you see this one; it's got about three spine ticks, uh, but one that breaks color that's really big right there. Let's see if you guys can see that. 
right there. The others are just kind of two little small spine ticks. Um, the corners are sharp. Really sharp corners and edges. Um, I right now it, the with the waves. I mean, I'd say I'd probably say an eight point five, but I could probably press that out and get this book up to a nine point zero. That's that's my guess. That's if those waves come out. If the waves don't come out. Yeah, I don't know. Man, that could even bring it to, I don't know. I That's one area where it's tough for me. I'd, I wouldn't say lower than an 8.0. But if, if I can press that out, I think this is a nice, clean 9.0. But again, very happy to have that and to have paid the price uh, that I paid for it. Let's see what else we got, guys. We got some True Believers. I'm always after the True Believers. And you get them from... Uh, my comic shop for 65 cents each. You know, that's one thing. Midtown doesn't give you the 35% uh, percent discount on the um, on the True Believers. They just charge you the dollar, which is fine. But shoot, I'll take them for 35 cents any days. All right, guys. I am collecting the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. This is uh, number Star Wars number six. I love you. I know. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we got uh, Darth Vader number five. What is thy bidding? And again, I love how these uh, variants tell the story of the movie. Really cool. All right, we got some Hellions. There's number four. Really cool cover. I like how he's holding Psylocke. That's dope. Really cool, really cool. Ooh, what is this? Is this a, um, I for, um, look at that. Alex Ross Storm. I'm going to assume that's Alex Ross. Let me, let, I forget what this was. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of the, wow, what do they call the, um, oh, this is the giant size X-Men number one, Alex Ross timeless variant. Yes. Beautiful. That would be a modern book that would be nice um slabbed you know hoping to get that 9.8 beautiful on the white background oh, i gotta be careful with this guy nice 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 love that love alex ross one of my favorite modern uh artists for sure all right we got wonder woman number 762 um i believe this is a middleton variant Really cool. I've been getting the uh, Batman Adventures. Uh, ooh, I almost fell off. Batman Adventures Classics. Here's number four. Because they're what a dollar ninety nine. Then you get the thirty five percent off. So yeah, some of these are previews. Some of them were just, uh, you know, standard ordered. This is a True Believers Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine. Nice. Then we got, oh, yes. Did I read this one already? I think I read this one already. I think I'm on issue seven. I think I read this digitally, but still happy to have it. The uh, uh, Thor number six. I'm waiting on my Thor number seven. I ordered Thor number seven from State of Comics um, with my uh, pre-order of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. So that's why I haven't received my Thor yet because I'm waiting for the last Rona to release this month. Finally, it's October. It's coming out. Fingers crossed. I can't wait to read that. All right, here's another 40th anniversary for Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Bounty Hunter number four, Yoda. Yes, sir. All right, we got another Helion. This is the B uh, variant, I believe. No, no, it's the A. It's the A cover. This is number three. I heard a lot of uh, great things about this run. So hopefully issues one and two that I don't have are available on Marvel Unlimited. So I can uh, start reading those. All right, we got Black Widow number one. 
Huh, this isn't the variant that I ordered. Interesting. Uh, I ordered the one that was all black with the red. Yeah, so I don't know what happened with that. Um, this might be my the first mix-up that happened with my comic shop. I'm not upset. Uh, I will look into it, but regardless, Black Widow number one. Um, I'll look into that. Yeah, that's interesting. I always get my, uh, I get my previews, my previews books with every, uh, previews order. Darkness Reigns, King in Black, can't wait. I just did my October previews order and got all the King of Black stuff. I did a video on it, how to do the previews order from mycomicshop.com. So guys, if you haven't done a previews order or hit up your local uh, LCS to get the King of Black stuff in your pull list, now is the time. Ah, another Yoda Bounty Hunters number five. Empire Strikes Back variant Yoda and Luke. I think of that video, uh, Seagulls. You guys see that? <laughs> Where it's like the uh, the guys that do the uh, the bad lip reading. They did the Seagull song. <laughs> Hilarious, man. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Uh, the reprint of uh, Tales of Suspense, number 39. First Iron Man. Awesome. Awesome stuff. All right, we got some... Uh, Captain Britain, True Believers. I like this new layout. This new layout of the, the True Believers is sweet. Uh, there it is. It's a Marvel Superheroes. I like how they're doing this, like the, the old school banner with, you know, the Bronze Age banner with the box here. And then this font for True Believers up here. Uh, I, I, I dig that. I like it a lot better than what they were doing. I'm very aesthetic, guys. I, I focus on aesthetics a lot. Uh, it helps how I feel the book is presenting. So, uh, yeah, like this, just this font for True Believers is, is sweet. Here's a Uncanny X-Men. I forget exactly what issue this is uh, reprinting. All right, what do we got? All right, guys. Um last book here whoops we have another wolverine uh this is wolverine number seven volume two awesome awesome so that is my haul today guys we got some uh preview stuff got some batman stuff for my son got my uh marvel uh subscription mail order and we got a nice little key here and my Wolverine number one. Really happy. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the books I picked up today. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Again, look out for the next couple of weeks for my video on my 300 subscriber contest announcement. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Be well. Be safe. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. And until next time.